Greetings! Welcome to this special video. I'm very happy and excited to present my first contribution to the Animal Artists Collective. This is a new and very awesome collective with a focus on animals and artists who paint animals. I'll read from the official description, as it says better than I ever could what the collective is all about. Quote, The Animal Artists Collective was founded to provide a platform for emerging artists, to promote positive messages for animal welfare and conservation, and to connect artists to their communities. End quote. I'm a bit nervous about this video, as it's the first of this kind I've done, I think. I will talk about my chosen animal for this month's theme and about my process for the painting. As this month's theme was tropical rainforests, I sought to find a feline that lives in said forests. I ended up choosing the Jaguarundi, an animal I had never heard of before. It is, of course, a feline, close to the cougar. It's a smaller cat, with an appearance similar to a cross between a cougar and a weasel. It has shorter legs, a long, slender body, a long tail, a flat head, and an elongated neck. The ears are short and rounded. It has a uniform coat, either in dark colors like black, brown, or gray, or a lighter, redder range of colors going from chestnut to tawny yellow. The kittens are similarly colored to the adults. Mama Jaguarundis have litters of one to four kittens. In terms of size, the Jaguarundi can weigh 4.5 to 9 kilograms and measure 50 to 77 centimeters without the tail. Like I said, it has a generally long tail, measuring in itself from 33 to 61 centimeters. It is also a very vocal cat, with at least 13 different calls recorded, including a purr, a whistle, a scream, a chatter, a yap, and a bird-like chirp. Some Jaguarundis have lived up to 10 years in captivity. It is a diurnal animal, meaning that it's active during the day. They can manage trees and heights, but prefer to hunt on the ground. That is reflected in what they usually eat. Rodents, small reptiles, and ground-feeding birds. If you want to see photos and videos of this curious animal, I'll put all my links and references in the description box. To bring this around to the conservation aspect, I think it's important to mention that at the moment, this animal is not considered threatened. It has for itself that it can live in a larger range of habitats than other species and that it's not wanted for its belt. However, its main habitat is rapidly dwindling and could impact the numbers of the Jaguarundi population in the wild. The jaguarundi is also a well-known predator of domestic poultry, and farmers protecting their flocks make a negative impact in the numbers of the jaguarundi population. Other threats to the jaguarundi are the traps that are left for other, more commercially valuable species, and the competition with the ocelot for habitat and prey. And now, 
A quick bit about the painting itself. It was a big challenge to present this in a way I found interesting. I haven't made that many finished pieces featuring animals. I sketched a thumbnail in my sketchbook, then drew the full-size piece digitally. Once I was happy with the drawing, I transferred it to watercolor paper. In this case, I used the Arches Gold Press Paper. The paints are various colors by Daniel Smith, and the brushes I used are Ultimo and Reserva brushes by Escoda. I really took my time and tried not to give in to stress and panic while painting this piece, and it ended up being a lot of fun to paint. I really wanted to have the Jaguarundi's unique silhouette in my drawing, and I also had to include a kitten, as they are adorable. I love including the younglings, as they are a step of hope toward any species staying on this planet longer. As is part of the collective's goal, this original drawing will be offered for sale on my Etsy shop. I decided that for this piece, all of the price, not including shipping, will go to a non-profit organization. I chose to send the proceeds to the International Society for Endangered Cats Canada. It's a Canadian non-profit that focuses on helping with small cats conservation efforts. Like I said, make sure you check the description box for a lot of interesting information regarding the Animal Artists Collective and the Jagorundi. There will also be links to the videos made by my fellow collective artists and a link to the shop listing if you want to take a look at it or buy this piece. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day! Bye bye!